Community studies can be an important part of pre-compliance EMI testing. Immunity tests how your product will operate when in close proximity to RF signals. We test this with high power AM signals. We can also test for immunity to transient pulses like ESD. Often this is tested with instruments like an ESD gun. Now let's look at a basic immunity test setup for debugging a design. Here we have a basic immunity test setup where we'll be doing some functional testing of the board while bombarding it with an RF signal. Here's our test board. We have it set up to take radiant emissions measurements while we also do the immunity as well. For the functional portion of the test, we're using the oscilloscope. If we look closer at the oscilloscope, we see we're doing I squared C decoding. So we're looking at the digital data bus, looking for any changes that might indicate the board is no longer working. So there's two tests going on. One, we're looking at irradiated emissions and also looking at functional testing on the board. To try to affect the board, we'll be using the signal source to make a high power sweeping signal. We're also going to be modulating it with AM. So we've turned it on, we've turned on the AM modulation. Now we'll use this probe connected to the signal source to try to irradiate different parts of the board. See if this has any functional effect on the operation. So we can put signals into different parts of the board over the FPGA. This board is actually pretty well shielded, so there's little effect on the I squared C operation or the overall functionality of the board with this level of bombardment. But this is how we conduct an immunity test. We look at different areas of the board, we see how both the operation of the board and the emissions coming off the board are affected by radiation from a short range. These functional immunity tests are an important part of overall pre-compliance emissions testing. They can help you speed time to market and avoid costly delays in your design process.